Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So today is Wednesday for me. Adam is feeling much, much better this morning. He's fine. He only took two Advil. He doesn't feel anything but a little bit of tightness, so I guess he's going to heal quick. I'm going to start today with going through my empties because clearly I am overflowing. I'm afraid to lift it because as I was carrying it into the kitchen, things were falling all over the place and Dexter was loving that. But today is trash slash recycling day and I'm gonna be getting all of that together this evening. So I wanted to get this empty and out of there. I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I was able to collect this much because this drives me insane. It drives me insane. So I'm not gonna do like a major review. I'm just gonna show you what I use and if I would rebuy it. So if I would rebuy it, that means I liked it. Um, if I wouldn't rebuy it, I, I, anyway, you, you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna start with these. I, Goku Guan, it's the cleansing oil. I was hearing about this on YouTube. It was eh, um, it lasted a very long time. It did pretty good at getting off my eye makeup, but I wouldn't order this again. I much prefer a balm, like a cleansing balm, and um, yeah, so that I'm not gonna, I'm not going to rebuy. Now these two came, they, I, they, I bought them separately, but they go together. Um, this is the Necessaire, Oh, Y'all, this stuff is amazing. Now, I have another brand of some body serums in there. I can't remember who it is. I'm going to use up next. But this is the body serum and the body lotion. And both of these were fragrance-free. I take my showers at night. When I get out, I put on lotion. When I wore these, when I got into the shower 24 hours later, I could feel it on my skin still. This stuff is incredible. I absolutely will be ordering this again. Like I said, after I use up the other one, I can't remember, O'Shea, O'Shea. I think that's who I have. And it's this similar type of thing with the serum and a lotion, but this stuff right here is incredible. I also have a body wash and something else in there. And I got that in the eucalyptus scent. I like that too, but this is what's empty. So these were incredible. Absolutely recommend the necessaire. Also, this is the Method Body Wash. This scent is the, okay, it just says stay hydrated. It's the Body Wash, give thirsty skin a drink. It smells incredible. I love this. It did, it did feel moisturizing. I didn't feel tight and dry when I got out. I have already repurchased this scent right here, the Stay Hydrated, as well as like a charcoal one. This stuff is incredible. And who is, Okay, just randomly, there's so many ads happening right now, so many sales. So that, yes. This I've had for like three years. This is a giant bottle of room spray. This is by Times the Heirloom Pumpkin Home Fragrance Mist. I bought this three years ago with Emily at a store called Nest and love it, love it. But you don't spray this pumpkin all that often. So for like... October, November is what I would use it for, and it lasted me three years, but it is finally empty. Love it. Don't need it to be in such a big bottle for a very specific seasonal scent. Dexter, we're not going outside right now, baby. It's raining. All right, dry shampoo, the Batiste for brown hair, dry, a hint of color for brunettes. Not my favorite dry shampoo. Uh, this, you can see there's like a little bit on the side there, but this is the way leave-in conditioner. I used this for probably a year and love it. Now, I feel like I could take some of that out and maybe put it in my hands and put it on the ends of my hair. So I'm gonna put that to the side and just kind of see if I can use some of that. Face wash, obviously this is not in any kind of order. It's just however I take it out of this bin. This is the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Hydra Boost cleansing, hydrating cleansing gel. I don't know, if you haven't smelled this, Dexter, come here buddy. It smells incredible. It's, it takes off. I don't use this as my first cleanse. I use a cleansing balm or that oil, but it was, and now it's a cleansing balm. And then I use this. I have one of these in the shower and have one of these by my sink. I love this. I already have bought a backup. All right, here I've been using these. Those are the, um, the Skin Iceland 
dissolving microneedling eye patches. It's funny, as you put them on and you kind of like tap them in underneath your eyes and you can actually feel the little needles and stuff. It says to wear them for two hours or overnight. I have worn them overnight. I tend to wear them for the two hour mark more. When you first put them in, you can feel it. When you pull them off, they're completely gone. So they do absolutely dissolve. And you can actually put some serum or eye cream up underneath this. I love these and will repurchase this, but also like the regular Skin Iceland eye patches. All right, this, okay, this is my empty bottle of Tiffany, I believe this is the Intense. Is that not a gorgeous bottle? Mm. It is, it's a clean smell. It is not a bakery, it is not a fruity, it is not a floral, maybe a little floral, but it's, I love this. I love this so much that I have a second bottle of this. I have not opened that box yet because I have some others that I'm trying to go through, but this, if I could only buy one bottle of perfume for the rest of my life, you know, one scent, this would probably be it. And I mean, just the bottle. Can, can, is that not a beautiful, I mean, I almost want to keep the bottle, but I'm not going to. It says Tiffany & Co. right there in the silver excuse the nails. They need to be redone. That'll probably get done today. And I believe this is the intense, but that is just gorgeous. No, 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 no. Sorry. Dexter or Jax. All right. This is the Grand Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with castor oil. I think I used this tube like three times or tried to use it three times. I don't like this. I don't like the brush. I don't like the formula. I don't like the way it doesn't kind of coat my lashes or clumps the ones together. So I just said, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I have too many others that I like. Um, this is the Paul Mitchell Flexible Hot Off the Press. That's the heat protectant spray. Love this. I'm already on another bottle and I have two backups in my stash. So they come, the ones I buy on Amazon are a two pack. So I love this stuff. This stuff works really, really well. We have, this container is old. I was digging through my stuff. This is the Unwrinkle Peel Pads by Peter Thomas Roth. And they're just a, um, well, I can't show you the pad, but that they were pads and you just kind of put them all over your face. It's kind of like an acid, I think. Yeah, 20% acid complex, glycolic, glycolic, salicylic, lactic, amino acids, the building blocks of peptides, exfoliates, resurfaces, clarifies, firms, helps visibly minimize the look of pores and fine lines, uneven skin tone, vitamin A, C, and E, and chamomile, green tea extracts, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and soft pillow pads. So clearly I like them because I used them up. It just took me a minute. All right, this is a household cleaning supply and there's some dog hair. Yay, we have a lot of that. This, I love the Mr. Clean Clean Freak. I actually need to take this thing off because I have bought the one with the refills on the bottom, so remind me, I need to take that piece off. I have not done a review on this as I'm trying to figure it out. It is a device, um, and I've used it for several months now. I, maybe it's working, um, I don't know, but it is called Droplet. It is a purple device that, I don't have enough information about it to do a review on it. I just know that the, the delivery system of these little ampules, so here are the ampules. These are empty. I just put them back in here. You can see these were foil sealed and they had this stuff in there. You pop this down into the droplet, you press the button, and then it goes for you know a period of time until it beeps or turns off, then you put it to the next side. And the ones I'm getting are the... This is the collagen. It's 10% collagen capsule packet. You can get them with um, other, other ingredients as well, but apparently the delivery system kind of forces those ingredients further into your skin. Um, again, I don't have enough information to give you a knowledgeable review on the device, but, and then, so you have all of these, so to yellow to here, and then you have one blue at the end, and then you'll have one blue on the side. This is the one you clean at the end of the week. So you use the collagen, then you clean the device with this, and then you use the collagen and you clean the device with this. So I'm still using it. Um, been using it for about three months. I have a, it's a, I have it on subscription. I just bought a bigger pack of the collagen ones. Says I need the collagen. I need all of the collagen. So it's not inexpensive. Just gonna give you that. 
but if it's a way to force more collagen into my skin, and like I said, I think there is a, um, a retinol one that you can put in there too, but so, but it's a droplet. It's just called droplet. So yes, I will repurchase this. I'm going to keep trying it and see. But it is one of those things that takes some time. All right, my favorite nail polish remover. This is the Mineral Fusion Making Beauty Healthy Nail Polish Remover. I really like this stuff. It's not got a harsh scent, which is part of the reason I like it, but it works very well. It's very, very effective. So um, yes, I have repurchased this. I'm got about this way far down on my next bottle and I have another one in my backup stash. So favorite nail polish remover. I feel like, you know, we're, my nails are so bad <laughs> right now, they're terrible, but everything you put on them matters. So when you're taking your nail polish off, you don't want to strip all the good oils and stuff out of your skin, your, your nails either. All of that makes a difference. So um, all of the products you use, nail cuticle oil that I use in glass nail files, I'm doing everything I can. I made the mistake a few, about a month and a half ago by peeling off some press on nails and now I'm paying for that. So, all right, this is the Orbe Impermeable Anti-Humidity Spray. I do like this, I actually bought it in a bigger bottle, but I also have the Amica Anti-Humidity Spray and they both seem to work about the same. And I think the Amica is a little bit less expensive by a little. Um, it's rainy and windy and overcast and yucky today. I, this is, I mean, my hair is clean, but I'm wearing a headband, but I do kind of spray this in here because I do fuzz up, but I'd like that. What's next? Oh, have you guys ever tried this? This is called Callus Terminator. I've been using this for at least a decade. Um, I am a barefoot person. I like to be barefoot in the summer, in the winter. Um, well, I'm wearing socks right now, but you're, for those of us that get the harder calluses on the bottom of our feet, this stuff is amazing. I originally was finding this at Sally Beauty Supply and I get it on Amazon now, um, but it is a, a, what I do is I put a pair of nitrile gloves on and I put this on my fingers and I rub, you know, rub it into all the rough areas of my feet, let it sit for just a couple of minutes and then I use a little purple pumice thing and just kind of rub it off. It, your feet stay super soft. You don't have the cracking and whatnot, but this stuff is, I highly recommend it if you have the same issues with calluses on your feet. I think in my, since I found this 10, 12 years ago, I've probably gone through 30 of them. I really like that. So yes. All right, have you guys tried this deodorant? This is the Loom or Lumi, um, a 72 hour odor control. This was designed uh, for, by a woman whose daughter had some issues with body odor, some sort of a, a medical condition that was causing her body to um, create extra smell. And this is, is for underarm and private parts. It's aluminum free, baking soda free, and naturally scented. Does it work? Yes, it does. I, okay, I say that, but I am not a sweaty person and I'm also not a stinky person. I very rarely, even if I don't wear deodorant, I mean, I have to be outside in the middle of summer doing some major yard work for me to notice anything like that. But I do like um, more natural, safer deodorants. And you can see I have the lid on backwards here, but it actually says whole body deodorant for pits, feet, and privates. So you can use this anywhere you got the stank going on. Um, that being said, the only, this is the only scent that I've tried. This is the warm vanilla. To me, it didn't smell like warm vanilla. I wasn't pleased with the smell, but I was pleased with the effectiveness of this. And once it's on and dries, you don't smell it anyway. But I, I just not a good smell. It smells like Play-Doh. I smell Play-Doh, but it's a twist here. And then like this white gel comes up and I will try it again in a different scent. I'm just, you know, it's, it's all about the, the scent on this one. The effect, efficacy of it was fantastic. All right, and you can't get that in store right now. You have to order it online. This I have not finished. This is the Natasha Denona Prime Magic Primer Anti-Shine Flawless Face Base. I've tried. I think that it's just that my skin is so dry that it doesn't work with this. So I just have to discard it. Emily has the same dry skin. I can't pass it down to her, 
Maybe I'll put it aside and see if my stepdaughter, because she's got oily skin, might could use it. But it is not, it was not, uh, you know, was not good for my skin. All right, this is just a representation of the candles that I burn. I cannot keep them all. This one was pumpkin snickerdoodle. It smelled fantastic. I burnt this through the month of November. Actually, probably for about a week in November, to be honest with you. Um, but do you see how much wax is left in this candle? That is so disappointing to me. And you know, I can't relight those wicks. They're so low. And, and I mean, either they're super, super mushroomy or they're super, super low. And that's a lot of wasted wax. And I know that some people say that they dig it up out of there and then they put it in their warm, wax warmer melts or use it as in their wax warmers. That is just too much of a pain for me to do. And so um, I still will buy Bath and Body Works. I love the scents. I just feel like that they could probably up their game a little bit because I have had so many candles that don't even cost me as much. Burn all the way down where you can see the little silver ring of the base of the wick. I mean, and you can't hear. This could have had another hour worth of burn and it won't relight. But I still burn them like crazy. Okay, just a message. All right, CeraVe. This is the PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I love this. I have heard that I have heard that they have redone this formula. I have not tried the new one. I'm praying that it is still good. I loved this. And I actually used this in the morning after all the things that I put on my face. Then I would put this lotion on, let it set for a minute, and then I would put my sunscreens on, on over top of that. But I love this, especially in the warmer months. Um, it's not too thick. It says it's ultra lightweight and it just works really well under makeup. I do love that. I'm hoping I like the new one too. I, this is just because I go through these. It's my asthma inhaler. This is the It's CC Cream Bronzer SPF 50 Color Correcting Bronzing Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50 Plus UVA and UVB. Um, clearly, I liked this. I used, I mean, the, there's nothing left in this thing. I, I almost sucked it inside out. This right here, what I would do is what I had a, I got dog hair, um, a, I prefer tinted SPS when I put them on my face, but occasionally I mess up and I order one that's not tinted. So I would put the, the white or with zinc or whatever in it on my fingers. And then I would pump a little of this into there and rub it all in together so that I had a tinted SPF and then I would rub it all over my face. And that is actually how I ended up using this entire tube. Love it, and I would do that again. All right, what's next? We have a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Um, there's some around the edges of this, but it is actually empty. I've even opened the thing up and pat, 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 pat. Um, this was pretty good. This is in the color number five, medium. I don't think I would re buy that one. It's not, it wasn't my absolute favorite. I have a Timeless Skincare Coenzyme Q10 Serum. I am already halfway through my next one of these. I've been, I do this every, I use this one in the morning. It's one of the ser serums that I use every single morning all over my face, down my neck and my chest. And that's the bigger bottle. We have the Chantecai um, mascara. Love this mascara. It is one of my favorites. I have already repurchased and I have a backup. This one makes me sad. This is the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in Blacker. I have to say, I believe that this was my all time favorite mascara ever since I've worn makeup. And I think my mom's already let me wear makeup around 11 or 12 years old. I loved this. It is such a skinny little tip. It was so easy to do the water lines without, without moving my contacts. I mean, those of you that put your contacts in and do your makeup, how are you not getting stuff on your contacts or moving them around in your face, in your eyes? This right here, I never had that problem. I loved the liner. You know, the, 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 on the outside, I could draw thin lines. I could make it thicker. And he's not making them anymore. It's been discontinued and I don't have any backups. So if anybody knows a formula that is like this, it's like a gel, but it's a, it's a crayon, but it's very smooth. It's not, there's no pencil part of this that you have to like scratch onto your eyelid. 
it just, I have a little bit left of my plummy colored one, the purpley whatever, and then they're gone. And I'm so, you know what? I have a drawer that I might have another one of these and I just thinking about it. I'm going to have to check and see. If I do, I'm going to be a very happy camper. But yeah, I, I don't understand why you discontinue something that it, that people love so much. And I loved this one. And it wasn't cheap. I want to say these were like 30 bucks a piece, but it was that good. All right. It's taking forever, isn't it? MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. This was what I used as my eyeshadow base on my eyes. You can see there's still some in there, but it dried up. Um, and I mean, how much can this? I already have a new one of these that's not dried up anymore. It ended up being like clay, trying to spread clay. All right, another mascara. This is Lash Paradise. It's fine. Uh, I know that people go gaga over this stuff. It's fine. Um, I used it up. I bet I like this one better, but this one is a better price point. I think this one's like eight bucks or 10 bucks. This one is not. So it's, I mean, it's mascara. I have the Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% um, HA and used this one up and now I'm using the 10%. So I was kind of building up and getting my skin prepared for the next strength. And now, so I do have this just in the stronger strength here. I'm getting close. Oh, here is another mascara. This one was actually pretty good. This is not from, oh, it's really, it's so dry. I can barely open it. This has been in here for a minute. This is probably six months worth of empties for me. But yeah, this, it just dried up. I liked the shape. It was a rounded brush. I, I honestly liked this one better than this one, but still would choose this one over the bunch. All right. What else? I got four more items. Uh, this was my eyebrow. I, I like all the ones with the tiny little pencils, not the thicker ones. And I've got some thicker ones in there, but I feel like I waste it because I have to sharpen it, sharpen it, sharpen it, sharpen it, sharpen it to be able to do my thin little sparse eyebrows. And when it gets, when it gets rounded again, then I have to, it, it doesn't give me the, th I have thin eyebrows. I don't have thick eyebrows. So I have to keep it super sharpened, which I feel like uses up a lot of product. And this one, there's nothing left in there. I'll get it again. I really liked the side of this. It has the spoolie on one side and it had the brown. I don't know what color it is. It's too dark for me to see it, but I really like this. It's by Urban Decay. We'll repurchase this one. Uh, Hot Toddy, I've been, uh, this took a while to get through. This is by Dry Bar, it's the heat and UV protectant for your hair. Um, I would put this in after my, I would wash it as part of it, half a dime size amount for my length, rub my hands together, put it over all of the thing to help protect it from the heat. Because I do use heat on my hair every single day. Okay, we have a Charlotte Tilbury. This is the medium bronzer, dot, dot, dot on your cheeks and blend it in used all of this up, already repurchased it, and I have it in my in my vanity. And last but not least was something that I, can, I thought, I think I either got it in a glossy box or a boxy charm, and you guys told me I was going to like it. This is the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. Heck to the yes. I loved this. Um, I mean, so this is a no, this is a yes. So currently I'm using the pharmacy, not the green clean one. It's the same thing, but it's the cherry scented one. And I have a backup of that. I also have one more of the Clinique and I still have what's left of my, um, the one I didn't like, the Colleen Rothschild. It just was too thick for me. Um, but I will, I saw this at Ulta the other day and they have this in different scents and different like for different concerns, it's it's a cleansing balm. So, you know, I will absolutely be buying this again. I really, really enjoyed it. It was very easy. I want it to take off my eye makeup and I don't usually wear my, um, waterproof makeup unless it's summertime and I'm swimming. Um, I wanna be able to spread it thinly on my fingers, rub it all over my face and see the makeup kind of melt all of it, you know, foundation and eyeliners and mascaras and pencils and whatever. And then I want to be able to go like this and have it kind of, I can see the makeup in my hands and watch it rinse into the sink. But the Colleen Rothschild, I can't do that. It's just very, very thick. And it take, I feel like I really have to work to get that off my face. And then I have to go back in and wash all that off. This to me, this and the others that I mentioned were my favorites. So this is on my list of things that I will buy again and see which one is the least expensive of the three. You know, the Clinique take the day off, the pharmacy, um, cleansing balm, whichever scent you like, or the 
clean it zero. To me, the three of them seem to work really well. Um, of my, they're my favorite. So, anywho, that is it. My basket is empty, other than a little bit of lint down there at the bottom, and that is all of my. Have been talking for 24 minutes, so it's time for me to let you go. Okay, while I'm going through stuff and getting things organized, I did place an order from ColourPop um, a couple of weeks ago. They were having a sale. I don't remember what the sale was. Was it 40%? It, it was a pretty good a pretty good sale. So I hopped on and picked up. Oops, throwing stuff on the floor. Hold on. Okay, we can't have plastic bags on the floor with puppies. Um, but I did pick up a couple of palettes. One of them, I had already had the, I know that they call it the child, but his name is Grogu, and we are Mandalorian fans here in this household. Even I am, even though I'm not a big Star Wars person, I love the Mandalorian. Um, so of course I had to pick up the Mandalorian palette to go with my Grogu palette, that I, or, or the child palette, um, and I have not even opened it. It's a beautiful packaging. I've already shown you the other one a while ago, and these are definitely kind of a cool tone, and they are definitely a Heather palette. I think they're beautiful. And of course I had to have the matching. I didn't need, they had some other stuff, some, a mirror and a little makeup bag and stuff. I don't need all that. I just want the makeup and I liked the palettes. So I picked that up to go with my child. That's the Mandalorian. I also picked up the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Of course I did. It's Christmas time and I'm actually wearing this today. So I did open this box this morning and, excuse me, there's the colors that I did today. And believe it or not, there is a little green in there. I, just you please see how cute this is. Even the mirror has, so well, Clarice, is that her name? And Rudolph. And then you've got the abominable snowman and a little wreath over here. But I just thought the colors were actually really pretty. Let's pull the plastic off. The colors are really, really pretty. And can you tell which ones I've used today? So mainly what I have on is called Handsome Nose. It's the, the reddest of them in here. I am wearing a touch of Christmas time around the outside corners of my eyes. I've got the Elf Practice, just a tiny, tiny touch right there in the center. And then I have lots of tinsel in oh, kind of over top of the handsome nose. And I just thought that was not only a fun, because it's Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger, and who doesn't love Rudolph? The colors are actually really nice colors. This is not like a childlike palette at all. Very wearable, very adult colors. And it's okay that Rudolph's on the other side. So I love it. And I mean, even the little packaging that it came in, let's see. It's just so pretty. It's so, you know, sometimes we have to bring the childlike parts of us back out. Oh, hold on. So let me just show you that real quick. How pretty is that palette? Okay, so anyway, I just think that that is, it makes me happy. You know, there's just the little things and it was on sale and it is definitely wearable color. So, and it's Christmassy. All right, and then I picked out three others. Um, the first thing I got, this was, these are called, it's a kit, it's some potty to love. And the benefits of this go to, I can't remember, hold on. Okay, let me read it to you real quick, okay? So it's called, it's here's the little box that it came in. And there are two, yeah, let's see. And that's hard to show you. All right, I'll read about that in a second. It says, turn an unforgettable look. Turn on, what? Turn an unforgettable look and help save same animals at the same time. Duo includes Mutts About You, which is, let me just open it. This one is Mutts About You. You see the little paw print? A shimmering warm gold with hot pink and silver pinpoints and your kitten me, which is this one. 
a glittery rich plummy chocolate with violet and gold pinpoints. All net profits will be donated to Best Friends Animal Society, a leading national animal welfare um, organization dedicated to ending the killing of dogs and cats in America's shelter. So you know I had to buy these, right? Even if I were not to use them, which I will, I think they're really pretty, um, but they, I love what they do, right? So I got those. And then I got, I've been looking at this one for a while and it's the Stone Cold Fox palette. I know I have other palettes that are similarly colored, um, probably dupes or whatever, but it ended up being, it was very inexpensive. I think, I don't even remember what my total was. It doesn't say on here, but, um, and you've seen this a million times on other people's, but those are all very neutral colors and I think they're beautiful. And I've heard about this palette a lot, so during the sale, why not? And then the last one I got is called Smoke and Roses. Here is that one. Can I get it open? And this is more of the pink tones. So yeah, that was my ColourPop haul and i would consider that a haul for me um love i love 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 the little paw print um i think they're highlighters you can use them on your eyes you can use them however you wish right but i also i mean just for real you guys it's fun it can be fun then the last thing i have to show you let me move this over i ordered, I signed up for Sparkle Box, and I, if you've not heard of this, it is um, by Park Lane Jewelry, and I signed up under Southern Yankee. Let's see, I've not gotten a Sparkle Box, but I have ordered pieces from Park Lane, and I've ordered, I've, you know, like a year ago or so, I ordered, I had an order from Park Lane, then I found some stuff on Poshmark that I ordered that I ended up liking from Park Lane, so I thought, you know what, let's try the sparkle box. So let's look how that box opens. Dexter's trying to get in. He's about to open the door. Comes in a little bag. Put this to the side. I have a feeling since it's December and they're known for sparkly that this is going to be pretty sparkly. Okay, they're pretty. Does it say what they are? No, um, this is just the December sparkle box. Let me pull it out of the bag. They are very pretty. I don't know what you call them. I mean, they're, there's crystallies, and it's actually, it's made well. You can actually see through them there. They're very pretty. It's a nice holiday. They almost, well, if you did it this way, they'd be like a goblet. Oh no, they're really pretty. They're little dangles. And then there is a matching necklace that's a circle. Let's see. All right, I'll do it this way. Very, very pretty. Very sparkly for the holidays. I really like those. And they're not... A lot of times I see the... the um, there's some chunkier pieces, which... I am attracted to those. I just tend to sometimes feel overwhelmed when I try to wear them myself. I'm trying to branch out. I did just recently buy a pair of earrings from Wantable that were much bigger than anything I would normally wear. But why not? We only live once. Who's, who makes up the rules? You know, the other day when Adam and I went shopping, um, he bought like four or five brand new pairs of, of Vans and they were all in varying styles, but most of them were kind of a high top and they all are skater like. And he's like, am I too old for this? And I'm like, absolutely not. I mean, granted, there are some things like I'm not going to walk around in a bra and a mini skirt and going to a party like that. There's definitely an age appropriate way to dress. But there is not a, you're too old to wear this type of shoe or you're too old to wear big earrings. I mean, that, that's, age is, an, is a number. And you know what? For those of us that get to be old, hallelujah, right? Because for so many, they don't get to. There's only one option, one alternative 
to growing old, and none of us want that. So anyway, wear the big jewelry, wear the crazy shoes, wear the sparkles, wear them. Who cares? Who cares what other people think? You know, Emily and I had a conversation the other day about people who don't care about what other people think and how they live, and then those that worry too much about what other people think. And, you know, for people who put themselves out there on YouTube and, you know, we we get all kinds of comments. And I will tell you the 99.9999% of the time, it's nothing but happy on my channel. And I love that. You guys are fabulous. Every once in a blue moon, you get that one person who just wants to kind of bring you down a little bit. And you just have to let that roll off the back. Who cares what other people think? You're living this life. You are. You're the one who has to determine whether or not you are too old or too young to do something. And think about when you're driving down the road, another conversation Emily and I had not too long ago, is that I know what's going on in my world. I have this, this bubble that I live in and it's all about me, right? It is about my bills and my dogs and my work and what I do on a daily basis. But every single one of us has that bubble. So the person that cuts you off in traffic, maybe maybe their bubble is really crazy right now. Maybe their world is swirling around and they just honestly did not even know that they did that. It was a complete and total accident. So I don't know. I don't know where some reason for I'll hear recently I just been like chatting and rambling and <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Wear the jewelry, wear the shoes, do what you want to do, girl. Just enjoy your life, enjoy your life. So I think these are beautiful and they're not too big and they're very lightweight and they're silver tone and I will definitely wear silver tone. I am more of a gold tone, but that's okay. Let's just try this on real quick. Is that, that is the front. Actually with this, sweater it might be pretty with the silver huh oops thought I had it there we go let's go ahead and put the whole thing on and since I've been talking so much this vlog's going to be really really long I think what I'll do is just not vlog anymore today until we do the advent calendars tonight so let's just take a little peek See what's what, I lost the back, there it is. Oh, they're really nice, I really like them. Anybody could wear these. There we go, my very first Park Lane Sparkle Box. All right guys, I'll check in with advent calendars a little later today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do advent calendars. It's a little early, it's only 5.30 in the evening, but Adam and I, when he gets home, we have to run out and um, pick out a backsplash for the kitchen for the store. And then we'll probably grab some dinner. So I figured I'd save myself some time tonight and go ahead and do my, I did paint my nails today. So I, same color, it's the, still Santa sleigh. I just don't have the white tips anymore where it's was peeling off. Uh, I'm rough on my hands, I am rough on my hands. All right, so let's find, the number nine, hmm, here it is. So I don't have the lights on, but it's this little house right here. It's very light. Put you back over here. And this one says, a Christmas glow. Reveal your inner glow and fight the first signs of aging with ritual of Namaste Serum. It's not the first signs of aging. So then just go in there and fix everything. All right, this is a Radiance Anti-Aging Serum with Saffron Flower and Holly Lotus. We will definitely try it. Ooh, that's really clean smelling and not overly perfumed. Oh no. And it dripped out because it's a serum it dripped out. So I'll just put it on the backs of my hands. All right, so that was the ritual of Advent. Put that back there, and now we'll go across the way, across the way, and pick up, let's see, if I set you here, all right, is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. All right, let's start with Veluspa. 
I'm thinking this might be my favorite one this year. I mean, I'm, I burn candles every day. I mean, I use skincare and makeup every day too, but I don't know, this one just, like I said last night, it makes me very happy. And we're coming to the end of it. So this is day nine. That was, yeah, we are on day nine. So here's day nine. What do we have? Ooh, Baltic Amber. I actually have smelled this one before in a large jar and love this. Oh my goodness. Have you guys smelled the Voluspa candles? They're just done really, really well. All right. Now we will do the by Terry. Look for number nine in here. There we go. It's right over here. There we go. Okay, this is a hyaluronic acid. And I do use hyaluronic acid. It's a hyaluronic hydra primer. So I guess that goes under. So it's a hydrating primer for your makeup. That is definitely something I could use. Because when I, oh, and it doesn't have a, I, it's not open right now. Um, the one I showed you today in my empties was not a hydrating primer. So definitely something that works for my skin probably. All right, Dr. Barbara Sturm. Oh, I tied the bow last night. Number nine is right down here. We have another little vial. I love little glass vials. This is a brightening serum. Can you see? There we go. Brightening serum. With no scent. I think all of her stuff is unscented. Maybe that's just so that you don't have a reaction to it. I think that's fantastic. And then last but not least, see if this is better on this side here. Turn you this way. The Netta Porter, we're looking for number nine. Nope, that's 19, here we go. Number nine right here. Banho. Citr oh, it's a candle. It's a candle. Ben, I'm a, I mean, the, if the electricity goes out, we're good. We're good. This one said it's a Citron Verbena. Ooh, look at the pretty glass jar here, too. It's a matte white. That smells good, too. It's very, it's a, it's, you, if you've smelled Verbena, you know. We got lime and lemon. This smells really nice. That's a fresh, I want to do this one kind of in the spring. That's a fresh, it's got a bit of a creamy endotone. It's really good. All right, so that is the advent calendars for day nine for me. Um, we still have to do the pups. And I don't know if Adam is going to do his today or not. He's feeling much, much better. But he, and he hasn't been taking any of the narcotic medication. He only is taking Advil. So he could have the beer. I just don't know that he's going to want to. So um, he probably isn't today. So the, he'll catch up. You know, he might have all 24 beers drink by March or something. But, uh, and you know, he could open it and just put it in the fridge and save it for later. We'll see. But we're, he's heading home now and we're going to head out. Okay, so for those of you that have been asking what I've been doing to work on my hair growth, I mean, it's it's happening. It's slow, but it's happening. Um, one of you asked me about the laser headband that I use. This is called the, where'd it go? Is it not on here? <laughs> it's called the Hair Max. Um, I don't remember how many lasers are in here, but I literally, it, you know, it's rechargeable. I just plug it in to recharge it. Adam and I are both using it. And I use it on clean hair and you just turn it on and you let it sit and then it beeps and it slides back and it takes like a total of three minutes. It just beeped. I think I shouldn't have beeped already. It might need to be charged. Yep. It needs to be charged. Anyway, this is what I do. It goes like 30 seconds and then I move it back and then 30 seconds and I move back. So it's literally about to die. It needs to be charged. So bad timing on myself. I should have charged it last night. Um, for shampoos, I've been rotating between this. This is called Bondi Boost HG, which is hair growth serum, I guess. Hair growth is what the HG stands for. This is made in um, Australia, I believe. So I have one of these in my tub and one of these in the shower. I usually just wash my hair in the shower. 
Um, I also have two different sprays. Uh, Prosapil hair tonic and intensive spray. These both go on your scalp and you just kind of massage them in. I didn't get out the little brush. I do use this little brush to kind of push the serums through my scalp and kind of massage the scalp. And then Emily gave me that um, Whey scalp massager. I'm loving that. I thought that being silicone, it was going to like pull my hair out and it doesn't. I just kind of go around while I'm shampooing. It's, it's fabulous, I love it. Um, okay, I also let's continue with the things that this is a rotating thing. I've been using the H, I'm sorry, the um, Better Not Younger shampoo and conditioners as well. I kind of rotate back and forth. Right now I'm using the Bondi Boost, but I do have some sprays, some little hair tonics that go with the Better Not Younger line. This one's almost empty. This one, I mean, it's here. You use such a tiny bit. You literally put that in your hair and massage it into your hair. I'm finishing this one up. This is Hair Max as well. This is actually the same brand as this laser. I've got that much left in there. Maybe I'll use that up today. And sometimes I use this one. This is the Kerastase in Initialist. Um, and I put that just kind of around the fronts of my hair and massage it in. I do not use all of these on the same day. I've just been kind of rotating. I have no idea which thing is actually making the most difference for my hair. But um, internally, I am taking biotin and my vitamins and occasionally like a prenatal type thing, but usually just my regular multivitamin. And that's been about 30 seconds, right? But I also have been taking this. This is my second bottle of this. This is by Well Labs. It's biotin and collagen extra strength made in the USA. It's 15,000 15, micrograms per serving. And it is just a tincture. You do that. I put it under my tongue. I let it sit under my tongue for 30 seconds. And then I swallow. And that's it. That's the things that I've been doing that um, I need to charge this. Oh, shoot. Um, those are the things I've been doing to try to get some hair growth. And if you look back, you know, a year and a half ago or whatever, my hair was no further past this. It was also blonde. So, and I just recently... When I went and got my hair colored the other day, my roots done, she took off about maybe a half an inch or so just to keep it dusted. I do wish these pieces, these are my bangs, would grow a little faster, but they're here now. So, I mean, I see progress. So that, that's all I can ask for, right? The Hair Max laser band, here it is right across the top. <laughs> The Hair Max laser band is pricey, so it is a wait for a sale or something, but I do truly believe in the, the red light therapy. I use the one for my face. I use it for my neck and necklace. I just recently got the Omnilux glove that I use at night. It's one hand at a time. So I just put them on, watch TV with Adam, switch hands, and then I put it away into my nightstand. So in my abyss, you know, the deep abyss of my nightstand stuff, which needs to be cleaned out. So those of you that wanted a update on what I've been doing, that's what I've been doing. All right, so we are gonna end this evening with the Woofers Advent Calendars for the Pups. Jax, where you going, buddy? You don't want your cookies? Adam is holding the camera, he's home. Um, he does not wanna do his Advent Calendar tonight. And I told him that you all have been wishing him, you know, speedy recovery and all that, and. Thanks everybody, appreciate all the, uh, the kind words. All right, guys, let's do this. So I know Jaxie Bear went first last night because it was his birthday, right? Dexter. All right, Indigo, come here. Do you smell doggies? Indigo, do you smell doggies? Come here. Oh, are we looking for number nine? Come here, Indigo, you wanna go first? We're gonna let Dexter go first tonight. <gasps> Dex, oh, I know that was my fault. Soft, good boy. All right, you wanna go? Cause come here, Indigo. She's looking at her lips even though she hadn't had it yet. You're done because you ate yours really fast. And today we didn't have any cupcakes, did we? Indigo, there you go, there we go. All right, and we have the Jaxie Bear. You're being nice and, they're out of breath. We just got done playing outside, even though it's wet and muddy. You wanna get it, can you get it? What's in here, what's in here? Do you want me to get that for you? Yeah, here we go. That's a good boy, that's a good boy. Everybody got their cookies, yes. Can you guys say good night? All right guys, I hope you had a very happy 
ninth day of December. I hope you're ready for Christmas. I'm actually not quite ready yet, so I still have some wrapping to do and some gift cards to pick up, but Adam and I are about to, what's wrong? Shaking your head? Uh, because Dexter's trying to take yeah, Jax's. Yeah, and Jax <laughs> got a little nippy back at him. But. Well, I mean, he's trying to steal his food, so mm -hmm. every once in a while we have a disagreement here, but nothing serious, not, nobody's ever gotten hurt. It's just, you know, he's learning his place and they're accepting him so but they play regularly they're they're good babies they just you know everybody gets irritated all the once in a while and they're always together so anyway i don't know we're gonna go out pick out a backsplash for the store's kitchen and i don't know if we're doing barbecue or tacos tonight we're trying to decide so that's what we're about to do and when i get back home i will edit this and get this ready for tomorrow and you guys have a great evening i'll talk to you tomorrow bye